Don't start first grade, everyone up front! You've been okayed for a treasure hunt. Let's go visit this island, get to know it by heart. You'll have the pleasure of looking for treasure from food to works of art. Are you ready? On your mark! Jump start! Hey there! I'm Frankie! And that's Floyd! I'm so glad you're going to be my partner in the treasure hunt! Let's get started! Hold your horses, Frankie! As hall monitor, I've got to make sure you follow the rules! Your partner has to sign in first! I've got to keep track of everyone around here! So please sign your name, then click on the treasure chest to start! Great! That was easy! Now let's set sail in search of treasure! Frankie, you haven't explained the rules of the treasure hunt yet! <sighs> you and Frankie will have to help out around the school to earn clues! Earn three, and you'll be brought to the front yard to answer the first clue! Answer it correctly, and you'll get to go with Frankie on his boat! And you know what that means, Frankie? Yahooey! We're going on a treasure hunt! Frankie, you're not supposed to dig here anymore! Don't worry, Floyd! One more hole won't sink the island! I buried a little something here that we'll need! This collar is for you! It's to help you get around! Click on it so we can get going! Great! Now let me tell you how it works. The first spot works two ways. The arrow will take you back to the last room you were in. And the door will let you exit the game completely. Click on the question mark if you need help. Click this to change levels while you're playing a game. Or click here if you want some extra help from Professor Fleabody. Anytime you want to see your collar, just move the cursor to the bottom of the screen. Whoops! I almost forgot one thing! If you do real well earning clues and finding treasure, you'll earn gold coins! The better you do, the more coins you'll earn, and those will help you increase your rank! That's it! Just click on the front door whenever you're ready to go inside! Ms. Nobel will be so happy to see us! Let's surprise her! We're here, Ms. Nobel! Oh dear! Duck! Frankie! Oh, you startled me! What was that? That's my new science game. You'll love it. We'd also love some clues for your treasure hunt. First things first. You and Frankie will have to earn clues by helping out around the school. You can test my new science game or join my book club. And just look at the lost and found. It really must be put in order. You'll be needing a treasure chest to carry all your treasures, won't you? Now you can keep track of everything you find. You'll also need this treasure hunter scroll to keep track of your treasure hunt clues. The other teachers and I will add clues to your scroll as you go. And the most important thing is for you and Frankie to have fun. Okie dokie. I'm sure you'll love being a member of the book club. Books take you to new places and introduce you to new people. Just click on a book, read along with the story, and answer the question I ask you. Shall we get started? Okie dokie. Soda Pop by Glynis Campbell Soda Pop, Soda Pop, bubbling up. Twelve little bubbles in my cup. Eleven pop, ten pop, nine pop, eight. Bubbles make the soda pop great. Soda pop, soda pop, bubbling up. Eight little bubbles in my cup. Seven pop, six pop, five pop, four. 
When it's gone, may I have some more? Soda pop, soda pop, bubbling up. Four little bubbles in my cup. Three pop, two pop, one pop, none. No more bubbles, no more fun. What does he want when it's gone? He wants milk. He wants more. He wants water. No, that isn't the right answer. We'll try again. You're right. The Teddy Bear Tea by Glynis Campbell. Three o'clock. Time for the Teddy Bear Tea. How many guests will there be? Miss Patty Panda is coming alone. That makes one at the Teddy Bear Tea. The Sugar Bear Sisters make two more. One plus two more, that makes three. Mr. Murphy Mouse has come a bit late. Three plus one more, that makes four. Harrison Hamster is bringing his wife. Four plus two more, six are at the door. Gertrude Goose and Gabby Gander, six plus two add up to eight. Two more guests, the Piggly Pair, Make it ten at the garden gate. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Welcome to the table. Gather round. Ten little dishes, ten little cups, ten lovely guests. Wait, what's that sound? There's another knock at the cottage door. Goodness me, who could it be? Sammy Skunk has invited himself. No more guests at the Teddy Bear Tea. Where did the animals have their tea? They had their tea at Skunk's house. They had their tea at the table. They had their tea at the garden gate. You're a good reader. Only three more stars to go. Pat a cake. Pat-a-cake, pat-a-cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. What letter did the baker mark on the cake? He marked it with a B. He marked it with an S. He marked it with a C. Pat-a-cake, pat-a-cake, bake... What letter did... Very good. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of milk. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a crown. Excellent! Only two more stars to go. Hickory Dickory Dock Hickory Dickory Dock The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. What time was struck on the clock? The clock struck one. The clock struck two. The clock struck three. That's correct. Odd Todd and Even Stephen by Glynis Campbell. Here is Stephen. He likes even. He likes counting two by two. Two, four, six, eight. Even numbers. Make them blue. This is Todd. He likes odd. All the numbers in between. One, three, five, seven. Odd numbers. Make them green. They will do a show for you. Taking turns, green and blue. Todd, Stephen, Todd, Stephen. Odd, even, odd, even. One for Todd, two for Stephen. Three for Todd, four for Stephen. Five for Todd, 
six for Stephen, seven for Todd, eight for Stephen. Time to take the numbers home. Put them in their pockets. One, three, five, seven. All the odds jump in Todd's. Two, four, six, eight. All the evens jump in Stephen's. Say goodbye. Please applaud. Even Stephen, odd Todd. Which numbers does odd Todd like counting? Odd Todd likes counting odd numbers like one, three, five, seven. Odd Todd likes counting all numbers. Odd Todd likes counting purple numbers. You're right. Only one more star to go. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. What happened to Humpty Dumpty? He had a great fall. He had a great ride. He was put together. You're a good reader. Jack be nimble. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. How does Jack get over the candlestick? Jack hops over the candlestick. Jack runs over the candlestick. Jack jumps over the candlestick. Very good. Golly gosh, you have all four stars. My goodness, that kind of work gets you a clue. There you go. That's one clue for you, just two more and we're off. with the lost and found. Tell you what, I have some treasure hunt clues for you if you help me match the children with their lost items. Click on a child and an item to see if they belong together. Let's clear this shelf, shall we? Match the words that are antonyms. Antonyms are words that have the opposite meaning. To match a child, right. What once was lost, now is found. Sad. Happy. Great work. Bad. In. Good. Bad. That's right. Out. In. What once was lost, now is found. Only three more happy faces to go. Match the words that are synonyms. Tall. High. What once was lost, now is found. Cry. Bed. Oh my no- Rip. Try to match a- Try to match a child with a lost- a Tear. What once was lost, now is found. Hot. Bed. You've made that child very happy. Sob. Cry. That's right. Only two more happy faces to go. Match the words that rhyme. A pen. Sit. Rut. 
You've made that child very happy. Fan. Pen. Great work. Kit. Sit. You've made that child very happy. Huff. Muff. You've made that child very happy. Only one more happy face to go. Match the words that are antonyms. Bottom. Near. You'll have to try half. Bottom. Great work. Far. Near. Well, golly, you're right. Tall. Short. What once was lost, now is found. Wet. Dry. You've made that child very happy. Oh my, you have four happy faces. Good for you. <laughs> Gee willikers, you just earned a clue. Hang on to that, you'll be needing it. There's your second clue. One more and we're off. Well, gee, I guess it's time to test out my new science game. How exciting. Here's how it works. Three of the tiles will start to spin. I'll give you a clue and you'll need to shoot at the tile with the picture that matches my clue. If you're right, the tile will have a star on it. If you're wrong, the tile will have an X on it. Try to get four stars in a row. Got that? Okay, let's go. I blow up like a balloon. Gosh, I'm sorry, that doesn't match my clue. Try again. I use a steam engine. I'm a steamboat. You're right! I am long and yellow. I'm a banana. You're right! I'm a kind of transportation that's bigger than a motorcycle, but smaller than a bus. I'm a car. Nice shot! I am big and blue. I am a blue whale. Nice shot! I say moo. I am a cow. You're right! My body looks like a triangle. Oh, nice try, but that wasn't quite right. I am like a snake in the water. Oh, nice try, but that wasn't quite right. A leaf of me is often in a sandwich. I'm lettuce. Nice shot! I am big and white. I am a great white shark. You're right on target. I am long and slender. I'm spaghetti. Correct. Cowboys ride me. I am a horse. You're right on target. I look like a star. I am a starfish. You're right on target. Only three more balloons to go. I'm boots with wheels. I'm roller skates. Excellent. Some people call me an Airbus. I'm an airplane. Nice shot. I look like a ball. I'm a hot air balloon. You're right on target. 
I hop about on the ground. I am a kangaroo. Correct. I have two claws instead of arms. Okay, click on the question mark if you need help. I am a lobster. Excellent. Only two more balloons to go. I am black and white. I am an orca whale. You're right on target. My name and my color are the same. Oh, nice try, but that wasn't quite right. Rabbits like to eat me. I'm a carrot. You're right! I like to eat bananas. I am a monkey. Nice shot! You can make hamburgers with me. Oh, nice try, but that wasn't quite right. fly in outer space. I'm a spaceship. You're right! My nose looks like a sword. I am a swordfish. Excellent! I go very fast on the water. I'm a speedboat. Correct. You drink me. I'm milk. You're right on target. Only one more balloon to go. I came from a chicken. Now, just click on the... I'm an egg. You're right. I build nests in trees. I am a bald eagle. Excellent! I have a stinger in my tail. I am a scorpion. Correct! I am covered in stripes. I am a zebra. Nice shot! You can make french fries out of me. I'm a potato. Correct. I am very small. Click on me if you want to hear the clue again, okay? I am a shrimp. Correct. I'm cold and come in lots of different flavors. I'm ice cream. You're right on target. Gosh, that's great. You got all four balloons. That's one clue coming right up. There you go. That's your third clue. It's treasure hunt time. Great work, matey. It's treasure hunt time. Hey, Floyd, why don't you explain the rules to my buddy? Alrighty then, here's how it works. The first clue is a question that gets you on the boat. The second clue will get you to the island. 
and the third clue will guide you right to the treasure. That's it. Oh, yeah, and don't forget all the gold coins you'll be earning if you find the treasure quickly. Woohoo! Let's jump all over that first question, pal. If you have one ball and I give you three more balls, how many balls do you have? One, three, four. That's right. Boy, am I lucky to have you around. When you're ready to set sail for adventure, just click on the boat, matey. Yahooie! Welcome aboard, team matey! See where we are on the map? We have to navigate that boat to the correct island. It's easy. Just click on the arrow buttons or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. So let's hoist anchor and get going. Go to the island that is one south and two west of the school. There's something out there. You just jumped in feet first. We've reached Undersea Island. Undersea Island? I feel like a deep sea explorer. What a great place to visit. Of course, the best thing to see will be the treasure. Click where you think the treasure is hidden. With the squirt of ink, he can hide with the treasure at his side. Octopus! There's nothing down here that can keep you away from the treasure. Way to go! Need help? Just click on the question mark. Click about and see what happens. Have fun! treasure, you can either return to the school or go back to any of the islands you've already visited. Here's a look at how the treasure hunt is going. For finding the first treasure on this treasure hunt, you earn... Seven gold coins! Click anywhere to close this screen and continue your treasure hunt. The next clue awaits. To the schoolhouse, matey! I still need your help with quite a few things. Click on the shelf above the chalkboard to help you with the lost and found. Click the bookshelf to join the book club. Or click the beanbag shooter to test the science game. Oh my, so many choices, so little time. Time to hit the books again. Have fun! Ten Little Monkeys by Glynis Campbell Ten little monkeys in a line, waiting to swing on the big fat vine. The first little monkey is very fat. The second little monkey has a Panama hat. The third little monkey has to sneeze. The fourth little monkey is slapping his knees. The fifth little monkey has a great big grin. The sixth little monkey has a sharp hat pin. The seventh little monkey is counting his toes. The eighth little monkey is picking his nose. The ninth little monkey yells, not a peep. The tenth little monkey is fast asleep. What are they waiting to do? They are waiting to swing. They are waiting to eat. They are waiting to swim. Excellent!
The Candy Machine by Mark Beckwith. If I give you five pennies, will you give me a nickel? Mara asked Beth as she held out her brown coins. Yes, said Beth. Five pennies are the same as one nickel. But why do you need a nickel? I want to buy candy from that machine, Mara said as she made the coin trade. The machine will not take pennies. Mara thanked Beth and went to buy her candy. Beth, if I give you ten pennies, will you give me a dime? Mara asked when she came back. I need more coins to buy the candy. Sure, Beth said. Ten pennies are the same as a dime. Here you go. Mara thanked Beth, then walked to the candy machine once more. Oh, Beth, said Mara when she returned. I still need more coins for the candy machine. Can I give you 25 pennies for a quarter? Mara held out her hand with the 25 pennies and took the quarter from Beth. Beth, Mara called out as she walked back. I know, said Beth. You want to trade another five pennies for a nickel. No, said Mara. Then you want to trade two nickels for a dime, said Beth. No, said Mara. Do you want a quarter for five nickels, asked Beth. Mara shook her head. Well, then you must want to trade two dimes and a nickel for a quarter, said Beth. Not at all, said Mara. I just want to know if you want to eat some of this candy. What is the same as a dime? Four pennies are the same as a dime. Five pennies are the same as a dime. Ten pennies are the same as a dime. That's correct. Only three more stars to go. Popcorn Popping by Glynis Campbell Get the popcorn, get the pot, pour the oil, make it hot. There's no stopping popcorn popping, just a little makes a lot. Popcorn popping one by one, there's enough for everyone. One, two, three, four. No, don't eat it off the floor. Popcorn popping two by two, some for me and some for you. Two, four, six, eight. Not for doggy. Whoops, too late. Popcorn popping three by three, more for you and more for me. Three, six, nine, twelve. Hey, don't eat it all yourself. Popcorn popping four by four. Everybody wants some more. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Time to lick your fingers clean. Popcorn popping five by five. Hopping up like it's alive. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's enough now. We've had plenty. How is the popcorn popping when it pops two, four, six, eight? The popcorn is popping three by three. The popcorn is popping five by five. The popcorn is popping two by two. You're right. Counting Eggs by Glynis Campbell Farmer Brown is counting eggs with his country cousin. How many have the chickens laid? Hope he finds a dozen. With a buck buck here at the break of dawn, Farmer Brown has just found one. With a cheep cheep there and a cock a doodle do, Farmer Brown has just found two. With a cluck cluck here cause the range is free, Farmer Brown has just found three. With a chick chick there by the hen house door, Farmer Brown has just found four. With a buck buck here by the old beehive, Farmer Brown has just found five. With a cheep cheep there from the baby chicks, Farmer Brown has just found six. With a cluck cluck here while the tractor's revving, Farmer Brown has just found seven. Chick chick there by the farmyard gate, Farmer Brown has just found eight. With a buck buck here by the pumpkin vine, Farmer Brown has just found nine. 
With a cheep cheep there from the old gray hen, Farmer Brown has just found ten. With a cluck cluck here on the way to heaven, Farmer Brown has found eleven. Chick chick there on the highest shelf, Farmer Brown has just found twelve. A dozen, a dozen, he's found an even dozen. But wait, what's this? Could it be an extra egg? Nah. With a crack crack here by the country cousin, Farmer Brown has an even dozen. Who laid the eggs? Chickens laid the eggs. Farmer Brown laid the eggs. Cows laid the eggs. You're a good reader. Only two more stars to go. Pap the Dog by Mark Beckwith. I have a dog I call Pap, who likes to sit on my lap. He wants to be fed when I am in bed, so I just toss Pap a scrap. Pap the dog is quite small, but he can stand on top of a ball. He whines and he begs up on two legs. I do hope that Pap will not fall. When does the dog want to be fed? He wants to be fed when he is on the boy's lap. He wants to be fed when the boy is in bed. He wants to be fed when he stands on a ball. Pap the dog is quite small, but he can stand on top of a ball. I have a dog I call Pap, who likes to sit on. Pap. When does the dog want to be fed? Very good. Baby Toes by Glennis Campbell. Ten little babies wearing no clothes, giggling and wriggling and counting their toes. Each little baby has ten little toes. Ten little piggies right under my nose. Ten, twenty, thirty. This baby's toes are dirty. Forty, fifty, sixty. This baby's very wiggly. Seventy, eighty, ninety. This baby's toes are tiny. Ten little babies with one hundred toes. Tickle them, tickle them. Ouch! Kicked my nose. What are the babies counting? The babies are counting their toes. The babies are counting their noses. The babies are counting their fingers. Excellent. Only one more star to go. Counting eggs. By Glennis Campbell. Farmer Brown is counting eggs. Counting eggs by Glennis Campbell. How many eggs did Farmer Brown find? Farmer Brown found twelve eggs. Farmer Brown found nine eggs. Farmer Brown found six eggs. That's correct. The Size Poem by Mark Beckwith. My pet pig, he's huge. He's so big. Oh, how he likes to eat. When pig has his lunch, he eats such a bunch that he could not even see his feet. My pet cat is not very fat. She's fine, not big and round. In fact, she's so thin. Just bones, fur, and skin. She probably weighs less than a pound. The oddest one yet is not even a pet. Not fat, not thin, not small. Lots of muscles he's got, and he's got quite a lot. It's my dad. He's seven feet tall. Who is not a pet? The dad is not a pet. The cat is not a pet. The pig. Is not a pet. You're right. Golly gosh, you have all four stars. That's one clue coming right up.
Hang on to that, you'll be needing it. One clue, two more to go. Let's keep going, partner. Golly, reading is fun, isn't it? Enjoy. Georgie Porgy. Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, kissed the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. What did the boys come out to do? The boys came out to run. The boys came out to make mud pies. The boys came out to play. Georgie Porgy, pudding. What did the boys? You're a good reader. The One That Got Away by Glynis Campbell Daddy took me fishing, fishing in the stream. And what do you know? I caught the biggest fish you've ever seen. Can you guess how big my fish was? Can you estimate its size? No? Then let me tell you, you would not believe your eyes. Much bigger than a sandwich, much bigger than my skates, much bigger than my lunchbox or my cat or dad's free weights, much bigger than my backpack, much bigger than my bike, much bigger than my school desk or the blankets grandma's like. Much bigger than the family car, much bigger than our pool, much bigger than an elephant and bigger than my school. Much bigger than a dinosaur, much bigger than a tree. In fact, I'd say the fish I caught was bigger than the sea. I would let you have a look at it, my fish of great big size. I would let you take a peek, you would have been surprised. Yes, I'd let you have a look at it, but I'm afraid to say, the biggest fish you've ever seen somehow just got away. What did the girl catch? She caught a very tiny fish. She caught the biggest fish you've ever seen. She caught the fattest fish you've ever seen. Very good. Only three more stars to go. Hey Diddle Diddle. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. What did the little dog do? The little dog ate with a spoon. The little dog laughed. The little dog played a sport. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. What did the little dog do? The little dog ate with Excellent! Triangles, Circles, and Rectangles by Mark Beckwith Hello, my name is Dylan. My teacher said my homework today was to find some examples of triangles, circles, and rectangles. This is going to be hard. Where am I going to find these shapes? Oh well, maybe I will think of some by the time that I walk home. Let me see. A triangle has three sides. I've got to think hard about where I can find a triangle. Wow, that piece of pine tree is so much taller than the roof of that house. That reminds me, my mom left a piece of pie for me at home. Maybe I'll think of an example of a triangle there. A circle is something round. Let me just check the time on my watch. I can't wait to get home to have a nice cold glass of milk and maybe the whole pie. I hope I find an example of a circle at home. What was the other shape? Oh yeah, a rectangle. That's really going to be a hard one to find. Oh look, I'm home already. I'll wipe my feet on the mat, open the door and sit down at the table and have my snack. Maybe then I will think of an example of a rectangle. Let me see. Triangles, circles, and rectangles. Where am I going to find those shapes?
How many sides does a triangle have? A triangle has four sides. A triangle has three sides. A triangle has two sides. That's correct. Only two more stars to go. Hickory Dickory Dock Hickory Dickory Dock The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. How did the mouse get down? The mouse walked down. The mouse jumped down. The mouse ran down. You're right. Hickory Dickory Dock Hickory Dickory Dock The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Who ran up the clock? The mouse ran you're a good reader. Only one more star to go. Little Miss Muffet Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. What was Little Miss Muffet eating? She was eating a spider. She was eating her curds and whey. She was eating her tuffet. Very good! Little Miss Muffet Little Miss Muffet Who sat down beside Little Miss Muffet? Excellent! Golly gosh, you have all four stars! That's one clue, coming right up! Hang on to that, you'll be needing it! There's your second clue! One more and we're off! I'm glad you joined the book club! Georgie Porgy. Georgie Porgy, Pudding and what did Georgie Porgy do when the boys came out to play? Georgie Porgy played with the boys. Georgie Porgy. That's correct. Georgie Porgy. Georgie. What did Georgie Porgy do with the girls? He kissed the girls and made them cry. You're right. Only three more stars to go. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Who tried to put Humpty Dumpty together? You're a good reader. Humpty Dumpty. Where did Humpty Dumpty sit? Very good. Only two more stars to go. Little Miss Muff. Little who sat on a tuffet? Little Miss Muffet's mother sat on a tuffet. The spider sat on a tuffet. Little Miss Muffet. Excellent! Soda Pop by Glynis Campbell Soda Pop, Soda Pop, bubbling up. So when is Soda Pop not fun? It is not fun when there are lots of bubbles. It is not fun when there are no more bubbles. It is not fun when it is in a cup. That's correct. Only one more star to go. Little Jack Horner Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I! What was he eating? He was eating his Christmas pie. You're right! Little Jack Horner Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. What did he do with his pie? He put in a plum. He put in his spoon and pulled out a prune. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum. You're a good reader. Golly gosh, you have all four stars. Gee 
stickers, you just earned a clue! That will help you find the treasure! That's three clues for you! That means we're going on a treasure hunt! You did it! We're almost on board! If you pay the cashier four dimes for an apple that costs 35 cents, what will you get back in change? A penny! A nickel! A quarter! You got it! I should call you Sherlock Bones! What do you say we set off on the treasure hunt? Just click on the boat and we'll Come on! Let's find some treasure! Go to the island that is two south and one west of the school. I think I see something. Put on your safari hats. We've reached Jungle Island. Jungle Island. What a wild place! Keep one eye out for dangerous animals and the other looking for treasure. Click on the spot where you think Ms. Nobel hid the treasure. The treasure's here, but you must toil to remove it from his coil. Volc volcano! Nothing there! Keep looking! Hippo! No treasure there! Try another spot! The treasure's here, but you must toil to remove it from his coil! <laughs> Click on the scroll if you want to hear the clue repeated! Hey! Nope, it's not there! Try again! River! Nothing there! Got- Cave! Nope, it's not there! Try again! The treasure's here, but you must toil to remove it from his coil! Hippo! No treasure there! Try another spot. Hippo! Nope, it's not th Python! My safari hat's off to you! You found the treasure! Now that you've discovered the treasure, you can... Here's a look at how the treasure hunt is going. The second treasure hunt item earns you another... Five gold coins! Click anywhere to close this screen and continue your treasure hunt. The next clue awaits. To the schoolhouse, maybe? I am so glad to see... Time to hit the books again. Have fun! Soda Pop by Glennis Campbell What makes the soda pop great? The bubbles make soda pop great. The cup... Very good! Odd Todd and Even Steven. Here. This. This. Why did the boys put the numbers in their pockets? It was time to go to school. They wanted to take turns showing them. It was time to take the numbers home. Time to take the numbers home. Put them in their pockets. Why did the boys put the numbers in their pockets? It was time to go to school. They wanted to take turns showing Excellent! Only three more stars to go. Little Jack Horner Where did Little Jack Horner sit? Little Jack... That's correct! The Teddy Bear Tea by Glennis Campbell Three o'clock. Time for the... There. What 
happened when Sammy Skunk arrived at the tea? The guests left the teddy bear tea. Skunk sat at the table with the animals. The animals ate cake with their tea. You're right. Only two more stars to go. Pat a cake. Pat a cake. Who was the cake for? The cake was for the man. You're a good reader. Pat a cake. Pat. What did the baker bake? He baked bread. He baked a pie. Very good. Only one more star to go. Jack be nimble. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. What does Jack jump over? Jack jumps over the rope. Jack jumps over the candlestick. Excellent! Jack be nimble. Who is quick? The girl is quick. Jack is quick. That's correct! Golly gosh, you have all four stars! My goodness, that kind of work gets you a clue! Hang on to that, you'll be needing it. One clue, two more to go. Let's keep going, partner. Golly, reading is fun, isn't it? Enjoy. Odd Todd and Eve. Here. This. They. Todd. Which numbers does Even Steven like counting? Even Steven likes counting red numbers. Even Steven likes counting even numbers. You're right. The teddy bear tea. Where were the animals going? They were going to the teddy bear tea. They were going to Skunk's house. They were going to school. You're a good reader. Only three more stars to go. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Who fell down and broke his crown? Jill fell down and broke her crown. The king fell down and broke his crown. Jack fell down and broke his crown. Very good. Jack and Where did Jack and Jill go? Jack and Jill went to school. Jack and Jill went home. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Excellent. Only two more stars to go. Little Jack Horner. Little Jack Horner. What was he eating? He was eating his Christmas pie. That's correct. Little Jack. What did he do with his pie? He put in a plum. He put in his spoon and pulled. You're right. Only one more star to go. I am Irish by Mark Beckwith. How are you? My name is Jill. Let us be friends, if you will. I live in the fog, beyond the wet bog, in the valley near the castle on the hill. Potatoes I plant and I dig. Over there near the barn is my pig. When the fiddlers play on St. Patrick's Day, that pig will dance quite a jig. Look at the hair on my head. See, it is wavy and red. 
My friend, I am proud, and I say it aloud. I'm Irish, born and bred. What does Jill plant? She plants flowers. She plants carrots. She plants tomatoes. She plants potatoes. Look, potato. How? Pot what does Jill? You're a good reader. I am Irish. By my What is a jig? A jig is a castle. A jig is a potato. A jig is a dance. A Very good. Golly gosh, you have all four stars. You just earned a clue. There you go. Two down, one to go. I'm glad you joined the book club. The Loose Tooth by Glynis Campbell. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It makes me want to giggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. My tooth is very loose. Will it come out on Sunday if I chew a stick of gum? Will it come out on Monday if I tap it with my thumb? Will it come out on Tuesday if I eat some toast and jam? Will it come out on Wednesday if I give the door a slam? Will it come out on Thursday while I'm playing hide and seek? Will it come out on Friday? Will it fall at all this week? If it doesn't happen Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or on Wednesday, or on Thursday or Friday, then it's Saturday for sure. I'll wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'll give a little tickle. I'll jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I'll eat a big dill pickle. I'll pull and tug and wriggle. I'll munch on pumpernickel. Because Saturday, I'll put my tooth beneath my pillowcase. And Sunday morning, I will find some money in its place. And then I can go shopping if Mommy lets me take her. I know just what I'd like to buy. A peppermint jawbreaker. Where will she put her tooth? She will put her tooth in a box. She will put her tooth in her pocket. She will put her tooth on her dresser. She will put her tooth beneath her pillowcase. Excellent! The Loose Tooth by... Where does the girl want to take her mommy? She wants to take her mommy to school. She wants to take her mommy shopping. That's correct! Only three more stars to go. January Seed by Glynis Campbell Sleeping underneath the January snow, a little black seed waits to grow. February brings more ice and frost, freezing the ground where the seed was tossed. The winds of March begin to blow, but the little seed is safe below. April showers dampen the earth. Now the seed prepares for birth. The sunlight of May shines all around. The baby seedling peeks up through the ground. June brings warmth to everyone. The seedling turns up toward the sun. The long afternoons of hot July bring forth a flower reaching for the sky. August brings honeybees buzzing by to pollinate the blossoms as they fly. Cool September slows things down. Now the green plant is turning brown. Foggy October blocks the sun. The flower wilts. Its life is done. Crisp November chills the air. The plant is gone. The ground is bare. Cold December shows a good deed. The plant has left behind a seed. What is the weather like in July? It is cold in July. It is very windy in July. It is snowing in July. It is hot in July. You're right. January. What 
does the seed become? The seed becomes a tree. The seed becomes a flower. The You're a good reader. Only two more stars to go. Time for Tom by Glynis Campbell. Bring! Goes the bell. It's seven o'clock. I'm too sleepy. I'm too sleepy. Tom, get up. You'll be late for school. Bring! Goes the bell. It's eight o'clock. Time for class. Time for class. Tom, raise your hand if you want to speak. Bring! Goes the bell. Now it's ten thirty. Yippee! Playtime! Yippee! Playtime! Tom, no standing on Jason's head. Bring! Goes the bell. It's twelve o'clock. Boy, I'm hungry. Boy, I'm hungry. Tom, get your hands out of Christopher's lunch. Bring! Goes the bell. Now it's one thirty. Silent reading. Silent reading. Tom, do you know what silent means? Ring goes the bell. It's two o'clock. School's out. I'm free. School's out. I'm free. Tom, don't forget to do your homework now. Ring goes the bell. It's five o'clock. Boy, I'm starving. Boy, I'm starving. Tom, remember to chew your food. Shh goes Daddy. It's eight thirty. I'm not sleepy. I'm not sleepy. Tom, get back into your bed. Psst, go I. It's twelve o'clock. Midnight snack. Midnight snack. Tom, you climb back into bed. That is what my mommy said. What does Tom have to do if he wants to speak in class? He has to stand up. He has to talk loudly. He has to whistle. He has to raise his hand. Very good. Time for Tom. What time does Tom eat lunch? Tom eats lunch at four o'clock. Tom eats lunch at eight thirty. Tom eats lunch at twelve o'clock. Tom eats lunch at six o'clock. Excellent. Only one more star to go. A Child versus a Garden by Glynis Campbell. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Seasons circle round us all. Summer, fall, winter, spring. In my garden, growing things. First comes winter's ice and snow. It's too soon for seeds to grow. Flowers freeze and cold winds blow. Winter's not the time to sow. Next comes spring and brighter days. April showers, sunny mays, bringing warmth that all plants need. Spring is when I plant the seed. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Seasons circle round us all. Summer, fall, winter, spring. In my garden, growing things. Then comes summer, hot and dry. Not a cloud up in the sky. Now my plant has poked its head up into the flower bed. Fall has come with cooler days, falling leaves and foggy haze. Now at last my plant is finished. Ah, I must have planted spinach. When does she plant her seed? She plants her seed in spring. That's correct. A child versus a garden. What is the weather like in summer? It is cold. It is hot and dry. You're right. Golly gosh, you have all four stars. Gee willikers, you just earned a clue.
That will help you find the treasure. That's your third clue. It's treasure hunt time. We made it! I can't wait to shove off and heave ho! Who works in a hospital? An astronaut! A doctor! A firefighter! That's right! Boy, am I lucky to have you around! What do you say we set off on the treasure hunt? Just click on the boat and we'll be on our way! Let's get sailing! There's treasure to find! Go to the island in E4! Keep a sharp lookout! Aye, matey! Treefort Island is dead ahead! Treefort Island! This place is the best! Pretty impressive, huh? Click where you think Ms. Nobel hid the treasure. This will help you get a peek of the treasure that we seek. Telescope! You're a great treasure hunter, and you're sure not afraid of heights! Here's a look at how the treasure hunt is going. Finding the third item means that you're halfway there, and for finding it you get seven gold coins. Click anywhere to close this screen and continue your tr We've got more- Oh, you're back. Time to hit the books again. Have fun. I am Irish. What color is Jill's hair? Her hair is red. Her You're a good reader. I am Irish. Where does Jill live? She lives in the valley. She lives in the castle. She lives. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. That's not the answer I was looking for. Try another. Oops, that's wrong. Think about the story and pick another answer. I am Irish. How are you? My name Potato. How are you? My name is Jill. Where does Jill live? Very good! Only three more stars to go. Congo Safari by Glynis Campbell Come with me to Congo, to the river Zaire. Come with me to Congo, join me on safari. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jill. Come on, Tim and Tamara. You can shoot the animals, but only with your camera. See the baby monkeys swinging through the trees? See the hippopotamus mud up to his knees? Look at all the elephants splashing in the water. There's a mother chimpanzee playing with her daughter. Come with me to Congo to the great savanna. Come with me to Congo, Tim and Kate and Hannah. Look at all the wildebeests feeding on the grasses. See the great rhinoceros? Careful as he passes. There's a zebra on the plains and his friend giraffe. If you listen carefully, you can hear hyenas laugh. Come with me to Congo, to my people's city. Come with me to Brazzaville. It is very pretty. See the chickens in our yard and the goats and sheep? We raise pigs for market day. I have one to keep. Uh-oh. Do you see that beast fiercer than the others? Stay away. Don't get close. It's my baby brother. Who can?
can you hear laugh? You can hear a baby laugh. You can hear zebras laugh. You can hear hyenas laugh. Excellent! A Pretty Planet by Mark Beckwith As I fly in my rocket ship, black space is all I see. Nothing but darkness and a few white stars far away. Wait, I see a little ball. It is a blue ball. I will take my rocket ship closer. That blue ball is a planet with great oceans of water. It is white at the top and bottom of the ball. That must be frozen water. I do see some areas of land. I will take my rocket ship closer. I see lots of green. That must be plants and trees. I have never seen anything like it. I will take my rocket ship closer. Now I see animals and people moving around. They are brown, red, yellow, black, and white. So much color. This is such a pretty planet. I wonder what it is called. What is the blue ball? The blue ball is a toy. The blue ball is a star. The blue ball is a planet. That's correct. Only two more stars to go. Roy G. Biv by Glynis Campbell I met a boy named Roy G. Biv. Can you guess where he might live? On a rainbow in the sky, in a castle way up high. Well, he took me home last March, pointing out the rainbow's arch. All the colors that you see get their names, he said, from me. For I am Roy G. Biv, he cried. Then he let me peek inside. See the stripes, the boy exclaimed, match the letters of my name. R is red, the roses wear it. O is orange, like a carrot. Y is yellow as a bee. G is green like a boabab tree. B is blue, a robin in flight. I is indigo, sky at night. V is violet like the flowers. And all of them come out after showers. Roy G. Biv then shook my hand. I must go, you'll understand. The clouds are moving from the sky. Time for us to say goodbye. So I watched him fade away. I know he'll come back some day. If you look where rainbows live, maybe you'll see Roy G. Biv. Who is Roy G. Biv? Roy G. Biv is a girl. Roy G. Biv is a cloud. Roy G. Biv is a boy. You're right. Peace Man by Mark Beckwith This is a story about the superhero Peace Man. Peace Man was dressed in a shiny gray outfit. He had long black hair with bright green eyes. His powers seemed to come from his eyes and the way that he spoke. Peace Man had the power to solve any problem, stop any fight, and make any two enemies become friends. But his powers did not seem to work on many people at once, but only on one or two people at a time. One day, Peace Man came to a school where there was a problem. A group of kids wearing blue jackets were yelling at a bunch of kids wearing black jackets. The black jackets were screaming too. They needed the help of Peace Man. Peace Man stepped between the black jackets and the blue jackets and said, Look at me and listen to me. Most of the angry kids looked into his eyes. Some even started to calm down. But just then, Tony, a tall boy with the blue jackets, yelled, Forget it! Zack, in the black jackets, shouted, Forget you, blue jacket! Peace Man turned his eyes towards Tony and Zack. Using his peace powers, 
he talked gently to the boys. Soon, Peace Man got Tony and Zack talking to each other in a gentle way. After a while, both boys were laughing. Tony went to the Blue Jackets and spoke to his friends. Zack returned to the Black Jackets and talked. It seemed that none of them could remember why they were angry at the other group of kids. They just learned to hate each other. Now, the Black Jackets didn't seem so bad to the Blue Jackets. And the Blue Jackets did not seem like bad kids to the Black Jackets. In fact, thanks to Peace Man, they all got together and formed a hockey team. They called it Black and Blue. What power did Peace Man have? He had the power to run fast. He had the power to win hockey games. He had the power to solve any problem. You're a good reader. Only one more star to go. Bedtime Story by Glennis Campbell Be careful when you read in bed, for I have seen it happen. I've seen a girl forget to close her book while she was napping. And do you know what happened as the wind blew through the pages? The girl fell into Chapter 1, into the Middle Ages. Oh, she had great adventures, saving castles, slaying dragons, until she blew to Chapter 2 with pioneers and wagons. And then, while she was heading west, across the blazing prairie, she stumbled into Chapter 3, where it was dark and scary. A pack of witches in a cave were cooking up a potion. When she escaped to Chapter 4 and landed in the ocean, a pirate ship came sailing by to pull her from the water. The pirate captain drew his sword, but just before he caught her, she dove right into Chapter 5, where history would spin her into the claws of a dinosaur that wanted girl for dinner. But just before that nasty beast could clamp its jaws around her, the wind picked up and closed her book, and home is where I found her. You may not be so fortunate if you don't heed my warning, so close your book tonight. You'll thank me in the morning. Why did the girl fall into her book? She read her book. She liked her book. She fell asleep with the book opened. Very good! The Friendship by Glynis Campbell There's no one here to play with, Timmy shouted to the sky. There's no one here to play with me, he muttered with a sigh. I think I'll build a rocket ship and fly out into space. There has to be a friend for me in some remoter place. He rocketed to Mercury, the planet near the sun, but it was far too hot for friends, and he found not a one. Tim flew his ship to Venus. It was filled with poison gas, and Mars was far too dusty, so he piloted on past. He looked for friends on Jupiter. The planet was too big. Then he got caught on Saturn's rings, and he did a whirly gig. And Uranus and Neptune had no friends on them at all. Pluto, furthest from the sun, was cold and bleak and small. So, sadly, Timmy turned his ship and headed back for home. He'd found no friends in outer space, and still he was alone. But as he flew his ship to Earth, it bumped and rattled hard. It tumbled from the sky and crashed into his neighbor's yard. And standing in the clearing smoke, he found another child, a boy building a rocket ship. Tim saw him, and he smiled. I wouldn't waste my time, he said. No, not if I were you. There are friends enough on planet Earth. I'm Tim. How do you do? Why did Timmy build a rocket ship? He wanted to play on planets. He wanted to find a friend. He wanted to see the sun.
Excellent! Golly gosh, you have all four stars! My goodness, that kind of work gets you a clue! There you go! That's one clue for you! Just two more and we're off! Golly, reading is fun, isn't it? Enjoy! Little Bo Peep Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Where will the sheep go if she leaves them alone? If she leaves them alone, they'll go eat grass. If she leaves them alone, they'll go to the zoo. If she leaves them alone, they'll come home. That's correct. Little Bo Peep Little Bo Peep what will the sheep be doing with their tails? They will be chasing their tails. They will be dancing on their tails. They will be wagging their tails behind them. You're right! Only three more stars to go. The One That Got Away by Glynis Campbell Daddy took me fishing, fishing in the stream. And what do you know? Why couldn't you look at the fish? The fish got away. You're a good reader. Jack and Jill Jack and Jill Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Very good. Only two more stars to go. Little Bo Peep Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. What has Little Bo Peep lost? Little Bo Peep has lost her home. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. Excellent! Hickory Dickory Dock What time was struck on the clock? The cl That's correct! Only one more star to go! Animal Talk by Mark Towner While walking through the zoo, I heard the animals talk. Ba ba said the sheep. And the parrot said, squawk. The snake said, hi, with a long, long hiss. And the lion roared, now get ready for this. I heard the hyena, he started to laugh. When I stood to listen to the long-necked giraffe, the sound started low, and the giraffe is so tall. I heard the sound later, or never at all. Who said hi? With a long hiss. The snake said it. The lion. You're right. The Lark in the Park by Glynis Campbell. I am a bird. I'm called a lark. I was born in this nest, in this tree, in this park. From an egg I was hatched in this nest, in this tree. And my mother and father took good care of me. My mother sat by me when I was too cool, and my father brought worms till my tummy was full. I ate and I ate till I grew big and strong, and I got all my feathers and learned the lark song. And now I'm too big for this nest in this tree. Winter is coming, so south we must flee. I know I'm a bird, and I know I must fly. I know I must try out my wings in the sky. So I've tried and I've tried, week after week. I've flapped and I've flapped, and I've crashed on my beak. 
enough of this flapping, enough of this fuss. If I must go south, then I'm taking the bus. What did the lark hatch from? It hatched from a tree. It hatched from an egg. It hatched from a feather. You're a good reader. Golly gosh, you have all four stars. Gee willikers, you just earned a clue. That will help you find the treasure. That's two clues for you. Just one more to go. I'm glad you joined the book club. The Size Poem by Mark Beckwith My pet pig. He's huge, he's so big. Oh, how he likes to eat. When pig has his lunch, he eats such a bunch that he could not even see his feet. My pet cat is not very fat. She's fine, not big and round. How tall is the dad? He is four feet tall. He very good. Babies by Mark Towner Female dogs have puppies. A kitten is a baby cat. But there are more baby animal names than just that. A cub is a baby to a mama bear. A goat has a kid for which she must care. A deer has a baby called a fawn, you see. Mommy and Daddy had a baby. They called it me. What do you call a mama bear's baby? It is called a goat. It is called a cub. It is called a kitten. Excellent! Only three more stars to go. The Ball That Megan Threw by Mark Beckwith Megan Wong had a ball that she liked to throw. When she pitched it hard and fast, the ball would really go. One day, Megan threw the ball much further than before. Further than the picket fence, past the street, and more. The ball kept going in the air, beyond the big oak tree, beyond a flock of birds up there, beyond what I could see. Perhaps the ball just kept on going, lost without a trace. Do you think the ball that Megan threw went to outer space? What did Megan like to do with the ball? She liked to catch it. She liked to bounce it. She liked to throw it. That's correct. Bears by Mark Towner Many bears are big. Some of them are brown. And some of them sleep all winter when there's snow on the ground. Some bears live up north. They are white and love the cold. They are called polar bears and are very playful, I'm told. All bears have fur coats that always stay put, but they never wear shoes because they're always barefoot. What color are polar bears? Polar bears are black. Polar bears are white. You're right. Only two more stars to go. I Cannot Eat This Broccoli by Glynis Campbell I cannot eat this broccoli. I have a wobbly tooth, and chewing it would only make my tooth even more loose. I cannot eat these peas or corn. I have no teeth to chew them. I have to keep the few I have. I can't afford to loose them. I cannot eat these Brussels sprouts, I'm very sad to say. I cannot eat the pickled beets or summer squash souffle. I cannot eat the carrots or the turnips or tomatoes. I cannot eat the lima beans. I cannot eat potatoes. What's that you say? 
Peach pie, you say? Peach pie if I can finish? Well, maybe if I'm careful, I could try a little spinach. What would happen to his tooth if he was chewing broccoli? It would make his tooth green. It would make his tooth even more loose. The broccoli would stick to his tooth. You're a good reader. The First Circus Act by Mark Towner Ladies and gentlemen, the ringmaster said, out first are the horses, but the clown came instead. No, no, cried the ringmaster as he tried to explain. You come out last, like the caboose on a train. I see, said the clown. I'm not the first in the show. I come on last before the crowd goes. That's right, you're not first, you're last, so now go. So we can get on with the first of our show. Who came out first in the show? The train came out first. The horses came out first. The clown came out first. Very good. Only one more star to go. Do Not Grab the Pot by Mark Beckwith Son, do not grab that pot. Why not, Dad? Why not? That pot is too hot. How hot, Dad? How hot? A lot, son, a lot. How hot is a lot? A lot is just hot. Hot turns to warm when it cools. But how cool is cool? If you feel cool, get out of the pool. Yes, but if you feel cool, put on socks made of wool. Son, if you feel cool, then wipe off that drool. Okay, I will do the asking. What is cooler than cool? It's cold. I'm no fool. Okay, what is cold? Snow that you hold. What else is cold? You when you scold. Sun? So I am told. Frost is cold. Ice is cold. I am not cold. I am warm. But why are you so hot? I am not. Okay, Dad. Now I know what is hot and what is not. I will not grab that pot. What does hot turn to when it cools? Hot turns to warm when it cools. Hot turns to ice when it cools. Hot turns to snow when it cools. Excellent! Animals on the Move by Mark Towner The bunny doesn't run, he moves with a hop. But the horse can't hop, he gallops. Clip-clop! A snake could never gallop, he can only slide. And an eagle in the air will flap and then glide. Now here's one to guess. See if you know who starts off crawling and then walks. That's right, it's you. What animal gallops clip-clop? A snake gallops. A horse gallops. A bunny gallops. That's correct. Golly gosh, you have all four stars. Gee willikers, you just earned a clue. There you go. That's three clues for you. That means we're going on a treasure hunt. You did it. We're almost on board. How many years are there in a decade? Seven. Ten. You got it. I should call you Sherlock Bones. When you're ready to set sail for adventure, just click on the boat, matey.
It's time to steer this boat to the right island. Let's do it. Go to the island that is two south and one east of the school. There's something out there. That's Candy Island. I can practically taste it. Candy Island, yes. Anyone got a spoon? We can eat and look for treasure at the same time. This treat has one scoop, and if you wish, you can eat its tasty dish. Ice cream cone. You found the treasure. Way to go. Time to see how many gold coins you've earned, partner. You're getting close to filling up the treasure chest. Finding the fourth treasure hunt item earns you seven gold coins. Click anywhere to close this screen and continue your trip. We've got more treasure to I still need your help. Time to hit the books again. Have fun. The Hog by Mark Beckwith. A frog and a hog went for a jog, but at a log, the hog had to stop. Hop went the frog over the log, but the poor hog did not hop. Along ran a man. He said, I am Dan. Hop the log, hog, if you can. The hog said to Dan, I do not think I can. Dan, will you give me a hand? Dan said to Hog, You are not a frog, but do not be stopped by that log. Since hogs are big pigs, and all pigs can dig, just dig and go under the log. Under the log dug the hog, and he went on with his jog. The hog said, Thanks to the man. Now when the hog gets to a log, he can go on with his jog. Yes, he can. How did the frog get over the log? The frog walked over the log. The frog ran over the log. The frog hopped over the log. You're right. The hog. What can all pigs do? All pigs can hop. All pigs can dance. All pigs can dig. You're a good reader. Only three more stars to go. Babies. What animal has a baby called a fawn? It is a cat. It is a deer. Very good. Babies. A deer ha- What is the story about? The story is about girls. The story is about boys. The story is about baby animal names. Excellent. Only two more stars to go. The New Boy in Class by Mark Beckwith A new boy started in my class today. His name is Juan. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. He seems nice. Juan told me his mom and dad are from a place called Mexico. Juan is lucky. He speaks English like me, and he also speaks Spanish. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. He says some words differently than I do. He loves to play soccer, just like me. Juan's hair is black, and my hair is light brown. He likes to be silly. I like to be silly, too. 
One is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. I guess everyone is that way. I hope he will be my friend. What does Juan love to play? He loves to play soccer. He That's correct. The Grandfather Clock by Mark Beckwith Most any clock will keep good time, and there are even some clocks that chime. But do you see the clock by the wall? It is a grandfather clock, the best of them all. Grandfather clock does more than tick-tock. He is the only clock that I know can talk. Don't be scared. Come close. Come near. Just ask the clock for the time, and you'll hear. Tick-tock, tick-tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on twelve, short hand on one. It's one o'clock. There's work to be done. Tick-tock, tick-tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on twelve, short hand on two. It is two o'clock. It's nap time for you. Tick-tock, tick-tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on six, short hand past three. It's 3.30. Now bring me my tea. Tick-tock, tick-tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on six, short hand past four. It's 4.30. Now go do your chore. Grandfather Clock, he can tell time. Grandfather Clock does not need to chime. Grandfather Clock, boy, he can talk. Yes, Grandfather is one bossy clock. What can only a Grandfather Clock do? It can chime. It can tell time. Golly, according to the story, that's the wrong answer. You're right. Only one more star to go. Vegemite by Glynis Campbell. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. Come and we'll sail you to Australia. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We like barbecues. We have kangaroos. Vegemite. Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We have crocodiles, bush for miles and miles. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We have billabongs, we sing bonza songs. In Australia, dreaming all day and night of Vegemite. Vegemite, we love Vegemite. What do they have for miles and miles in Australia? They have crocodiles for miles and miles. They have bush for miles and miles. You're a good reader. Late for School by Mark Beckwith Here I am at the gate. My watch says it's eight. Oh, good. Oh, good. I am not late. But there is no one there. The schoolyard is bare. No teacher, no friends, no one anywhere. How can this be? It's eight o'clock, I can see. But no teacher, no friends, just me. Did my teacher not stay? Did my friends move away? Oh, I know why. It's Saturday. What time did the girl get to school? She got very good. Golly gosh, you have all four stars. My goodness, that kind of work gets you a clue. Hang on to that, you'll be needing it. There's your first clue. Keep it up. Golly, reading is fun, isn't it? Enjoy. Bedtime Story by Glennis Campbell Be careful when you read in bed, for I have seen it happen. Oh. Hoop, 
pulled her out of the ocean. A pirate pulled her out of the ocean. A witch pulled her out of the ocean. The dragon pulled her out of the ocean. A dinosaur pulled her out of the ocean. Now that's incorrect. Try again. Excellent! Origami Sayonara by Glynis Campbell Hello to you. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hello. My name is Yoko from Japan. I live in Tokyo. I live here with my haha. My haha is my mother. And here on the tatami mat is Kenichi, my brother. Sometimes we play computer games or ride our bikes for fun. Or play rock, scissors, paper. We call it Jankenpon. Sometimes we practice kado, putting flowers in a bunch. Sometimes we help our haha make the miso soup for lunch. But what we really love to do is fold bright paper squares into the most amazing shapes. Birds and fish and bears. It's origami that we love. Our chichi father taught us to make origami dogs and cats with paper that he brought us. We'll show him what we made today. We'll set them on his chair so when our Chi-Chi comes home, he'll be sure to see them there. I think I hear him at the door. He's hard to miss, you see. He is a sumo wrestler, as big as big can be. Our Chi-Chi is a sumo champ. He's very, very fat. He must have wrestled hard today, not looking where he sat. Uh-oh. I wish he'd looked before. I guess we'll have to make some more. Our origami's flat. What does Yoko ride for fun? Yoko rides a train for fun. Yoko rides a skateboard for fun. Yoko rides a horse for fun. Yoko rides a bike for fun. That's correct. Only three more stars to go. Time for Tom by Glynis Campbell. Bring goes the bell. It's seven o'clock. I'm too sleepy. I'm too sleepy. Tom, get up. You Why do you think that Tom got a snack at midnight? He was cold. He was going to school. He was sleepy. He was hungry. You're right. Late for school. Who is on the schoolyard? No one is on the schoolyard. You're a good reader. Only two more stars to go. Triangles, circles, and rectangles. What shape is round? A rectangle is round. A triangle is round. A circle is round. Very good! We made it! I can't wait to shove off and heave ho! I'm a whale. When I was young, I was a pup, a cub, a calf. Wow, you're as sharp as a tack. When you're ready to set sail for adventure, come on, let's find some treasure. Go to the island that is four south and two west of the school. I think I see something. It's Toy Island. Prepare to play. Yahoo! Toy Island! There's so many things to play with! 
I don't know where to begin. But first things first, let's find some treasure. Click on the spot where you think it's hidden. You use this clue on a court at school. It makes you dribble but never drool. Yo-yo! Nothing there. Keep looking. Top! No treasure there. Try another spot. Toy rocket! Nope, it's not there. Try again. You use this clue on a court at school. Rocking horse! Nothing there. Keep looking. Doll! No treasure there. Try another spot. Basketball! Wow! You didn't play around! You found the treasure! Time to see how many gold coins you've earned, partner! Only one more item to go! Your fifth treasure gets you... Five gold coins! Click any... We've got more treasure to find! Let's go! We made it! I can't wait to shove off and heave-ho! I'm a dog! When I was young, I was... A tadpole! A cub! A puppy! That's right! Boy, am I lucky to have you around! When you're ready to set sail for adventure, just click on the boat, matey! Let's get sailing! There's treasure to find! Go to the island in C5! Keep a sharp lookout! It's a dream come true! We're coming up on Fairy Tale Island! Wow! Fairy Tale Island! I can feel the magic in the air! Who knows what exciting things we'll find here! First, listen to the clue, then click on the spot where you think the treasure is hidden. Although it lies upon the floor, sometimes it can rise and soar! Magic Carpet! You found the treasure, and that's no fairy tale! Time to see how many gold coins you've earned, partner! Great work, matey! That's the last item on this treasure hunt, and it gets you another... Seven gold coins! Also, because of how well you've helped out the teachers around the school, you've earned a bonus of... Thirty-one gold coins! And I almost forgot the best part! For completing a treasure hunt, you get a bonus of twenty-five gold coins! Yahooey! Wow! It looks to me like you just earned a whopping... 94 gold coins! Click anywhere to close this screen and continue your treasure hunt! You found enough treasure to earn the rank of Barnacle Buster! You deserve a marvelous meal for all your hard work! Frankie likes dog bone soup. What would you like? Your work was a masterpiece! 
So much traveling and treasure. How very exciting. You did an excellent job. Maybe someday you'll travel the whole wide world. Well, teammate, on the top of the screen is your score. As you play more games, you'll get higher and higher ranks. You've reached the rank of Barnacle Buster. 